40 years ago, I can't believe it, 1983, Melbourne Cup, life-changing for me. Walking onto the course that day, the goosebumps, because you're part of 24. There's only 24 jockeys got that opportunity and you're one of them. So that's the, that's the amazing thing. It's a year's work. It takes so long to be part of it. And when you're there, it's, it's electrifying, special. And they're off and running in the 1983 Melbourne Cup to the roar of the crowd and down on the inside, Larka Cot jumped out well with Kiwi who began well and so did Triumphal March and Azar's commander. Rubbing in behind the Bianco Lady and they're followed by Kia Murray and Mr Jazz and going very quickly on the outside to head them off as combatter. 250 metres left to go, Kia Mare being tackled by Mr Jazz and Noble Comment. Mr Jazz on the outside, Noble Comment the centre, Kia Mare. No fear running on, Noble Comment on the inside and Mr Jazz, Noble Comment takes the lead, Kiwi! Kiwi! We will beat them all, it's come from last. Kiwi, Kiwi's won the Melbourne Cup, a blistering performance. Kiwi coming from second last to beat Noble Comment and Mr Jazz in the Melbourne Cup. It was meant to be, the horse was named Kiwi. I was a Kiwi, to have the script that way and it just fall into place the way that it did. You couldn't pick it, you couldn't think of it. They thought he had no chance because he hadn't had a run for a month. I can still see myself standing in the mounting yard Snowy Lupton beside me, and to my left was the king, Bart Cummings, the great Colin Hayes, and the legend himself, Tommy Smith. And they, I could hear them saying, the only horse in the mounting yard that hasn't got a sweat mark on him is Kiwi. He was the most relaxed horse I'd ever seen. So that put me in a good frame of mind, and that gave me the confidence that other people weren't giving us. Another great triumph. Number 11, Kiwi, Jay Cassidy is the winner. Once I looked at it after I'd achieved what I had, to see it and sit down and summarise after the day, or a month later or, or 40 years later, quite incredible that a horse could do that. But that was Kiwi, he was like Snowy. You couldn't make him go any quicker than he wanted to. When he was ready, let's go. And he produced something very special that day, which he'd done on a number of occasions, but took Pump to a new level. When I crossed the line, I was in disbelief that we had achieved something that I dreamed of so many years before. To make it come real, to be part of it, to be in that moment. I think the most amazing part was coming back up the race, through the roses, back into the mounting yard. It brought a tear to my eye to think that I'd achieved that. Melbourne Cup Day is, is just something that's so magnificent throughout the world and talked about. There's no trophy like the Lexus Melbourne Cup. Whether you're in Broome, whether you're in Sydney, whether you're in Melbourne, whether you're in Alice Springs, Darwin, the Melbourne Cup brings the same thrill to everybody. To me, the Lexus Melbourne Cup means I had a dream, I had a wish, I had sacrifices, I had dedication, and it all come true in 1983.